trying to hustle hard. Don't nobody want to talk about God. I'm trying to get it in. We trying to win. But don't nobody seem to know where to begin. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I hope you listen in. Life gets better when Jesus is your friend. You can tell him anything. He'll tell you everything. No competition. Hey, you winning every day. believe your believing starts in the mind <laughs> your faith the faith is like the engine to a car right your faith if you lose faith the mind will deteriorate right the faith is like your oil to the engine basically where does faith start where does walking by walking by faith and not by sight where does that start that starts in the mind so the battle begins in the mind. The enemy may use his agents. You know, you may get agents of the enemy that may throw you a curveball every now and then that you weren't expecting that, you know, you trample over a speed bump. It's okay. The thing is, if you can recognize it, that's the power. Because you can recognize that that's a speed bump over there. You won't come flying through and hit that speed bump so hard, right? be strategic so and the agent's enemy is not going to say hi i'm sent from the enemy i've come to see how i can work against you and get you let your guards down no they're going to come complimenting you applauding you pretending as if you can't see the spirit behind their compliments that's what it that's why it's so important to be spirit led but the battle now and it's been the battle of the mind when we grasp that concept we can be slow to speak and quick to listen. We can begin to test every spirit that we encounter, regardless of what platform it comes to. You see what I'm saying? The battle is the battle of the mind. So that's the word for the day, people of God. The peace of God comes with those who keep their mind on our creator, on our Elohim, on our Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh our God, our provider, Elohim, our creator, you know, Jehovah Zekinu, our God of righteousness. So as long as we keep our minds on him, there's a peace that we have. Everybody doesn't have that peace, regardless of what's going on around you, regardless of what um, obstacles or what comes at your way or what you, what's on your plate that you have to deal with, whether it be external or internal. There is always going to be a certain peace that comforts the people of God who know how to turn to their God for comfort. <laughs> All right? So, have a blessed day and know that you are the light of the world. Don't let your light grow dark. Keep shining bright in the name of Jesus and know that the blood of Jesus is the only blood that has power. All right? Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. <laughs> does that mean does that mean that you make people come to God? Does that mean that you can force people to accept God? No. That means you let your light shine. That means you profess what, what God has done for you. That means you profess your Savior. You lift him up. You shine your light. And either he's going to draw people through you or people who don't want him are going to repel. Simple as that, right? So anyway, have a blessed day in the name of Jesus.